It's McBoogaballs here, and this is a zombie gameplay, as you can see. I'm not exactly sure what round I make it to, but I think I get to about 23, 24. I know it's like says 22 right now, but I don't know where I get to. I didn't really watch this whole gameplay all the way. I'll probably even show you the full gameplay because it's like 28 minutes. And I started recording once I got to 22, because that was the highest I got to in solo. Or maybe it was 23. I don't even, I don't think I make it past 22. I think I die. But I made it 22. And since one solo doesn't show up on the leaderboards, I just wanted to show that I made it around 22. And there's one spot where I do a Kobe jump and it fails. I'll point it out when it happens. But I got Juggernaut. Survived. Made it through, unlike my friend Vince, who makes it to round 10. Can't, goes down on Juggernaut, or goes down, doesn't have Juggernaut, and can't get Juggernaut once again. Oh, here we go. Kobe jump. Woo. Alright, then you're like, oh, wait, he's screwed. Then you think, oh, wait, he's got quicker vibe. Thank God for that quicker vibe. And if I could play the song, I'd play the song, but, uh, I don't. Because I don't have a quicker vibe on my iTunes, so... How do we, do you, I don't know, if anybody knows if you can get quicker by the songs and all those perks, I would like to, I would like someone to make a remix of that, send it to me, and then I could use it, I guess, or I don't know, I'd listen to it, but, yeah, so I won't really be talking about the gameplay here, I'll just kind of be like, pretty much talking about E3, and, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this commentary, I just had to put this one bit in here. Because I had to erase it, didn't make sense to me. So, I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Um, I'm watching the E3 coverage. And Modern Warfare 3, it just... The campaign just looks so... Like it always has. It's not... It doesn't look fun. Like, when I play Assassin's Creed, that is a fun campaign. Portal 2, the campaign's amazing. I'm sure... I mean, if... Why, when, you know, uh, developers and, not manufacturers, what are they called? Publishers create the games. They only seem to focus on one aspect, like the multiplayer is Call of Duty and all those, but if you look at Gears of War, the gameplay for the multiplayer is fun. Uh, I honestly don't like it, but it's it looks, I don't really know how to say it, but I don't like it, but it looks good. And the campaign looks good and it's fun, but I honestly wouldn't pay 60 bucks for Gears of War. I'd pay like 40 or something like that, but I know many of you guys would disagree with me, but, you know, it's it's something about it. I think it's like the, for some odd reason, the players are bigger, and I don't know, I just don't like that. But, god damn, I just said butt like eight times. Okay, shit. Well, whoops. I, no, I can, I can swear, because... I don't think they kick you off from that, but recently I gained a whole new subscriber since my last video. I was at 108. Actually, I was at 109. Then someone unsubbed, and then I got a sub again, unless he resubbed or she, you know. But that's fantastic. And when I I'm watching this E3 stuff, and I don't know, it just seems and they just seem so excited about what we've already known about. We knew Modern Warfare 3 was coming out. We've seen pretty much what it looks like. I mean, I guess the gameplay, it looks exactly like what Modern Warfare 2 looks like. Nothing really seems to change. I do like that, um, what is it, the Gears of War, I don't know what his title is, like what he does there, but he said that it's 2011 and if you're going to make a multiplayer game, you need dedicated servers. That's just the way it is. And I think that's, it's amazing. You need dedicated servers for any multiplayer game. It helps out a whole crap, just a whole crap load. Everybody enjoys the game a lot more. Everybody under, like, it just makes the game run a lot smoothly. Not smoothly, not smoothie, my bad. Smoothies are fantastic, though. Those are delicious. And also with uh, the um, Modern Warfare 3, the Infinity Ward guy, said that when you make a game the 60 frames per second are just a key crucial thing to have in the game because again it makes the game run smoothly not smoothly but just like crisp smooth 
Except I don't have that audio thing where he laughs. So, yeah. Grand scheme of what I'm trying to say here is that E3 is setting the standard for a lot of video games. There, pe people are now recognizing you need dedicated servers. You need to have the 60 frames per second. I don't even know what that is. But I guess it helps the game run smoothly. Smoothly. God damn it. I keep... Shit. Shit. Damn it. I, now I'm swearing to shit load. God. Nope. Alright, so... Setting the standard, I think, is important. Because it sets the standards for all the games. All the other games do better. It, everybody just has more fun when the games are just higher quality. And then... This has absolutely nothing to do with all the E3 stuff. But... I pretty much ran out of what to talk about E3, so I guess my topic, what I was going to use for a commentary that I never did because I got bored. It w I didn't get bored, I just didn't want to do a commentary because, I don't know, I was busy. I had to do boring graduation stuff for my brother because he's a senior, or was a senior, now he's graduating, going to college. I get his new room, so my room gains about a whole two feet, or... If you were to push out the walls about a foot, that is probably how much room. So, if you have four walls, and you push them out a foot, and let's say my room is eight feet by six feet, I'm just taking a guess. No, I'm probably, it's probably seven, eight. Eight by eight, I don't know, it's just, I get a bigger room, okay? I, I know I'm asking myself these questions, but I get a bigger room, and maybe if I get a camera... So I only have the only camera I have is the one on my computer. I can do a setup video. But hopefully by the time I get a set do a setup video, I have a lot cooler stuff because all I have is an HD PVR, a nice TV, and a laptop. Oh, I got a mic, but I got an Xbox, Xbox controller, and a Turtle Beach headset that costs 60 bucks. But it does its job, so I'm happy with that. I probably won't get a new headset for a while. Probably about like two years or so. I know it doesn't seem like a while. Maybe it does. But, oh, back to my topic that I just didn't really seem to do was know your neighbor. What I mean by know your neighbor, well, I'm sitting in my fourth hour. And if you don't know what fourth hour is, it's like you're four hours into school and separated in hours. And that's the way they do it in high school in Michigan. And I'm assuming the rest of the states and the U.S. and maybe other countries. But, um... Okay, so I'm sitting there in my fourth hour, and for some odd reason, I just look up. And my friend Vince, who is Tank Beast Rips, is sitting over there reading the book. I don't like books; they mess my brain. I don't like them. I just they bore they bore me. But I look up, and I look around, and I was for for some odd reason, I'm thinking like, I know Vince goes on YouTube. He makes these videos. I'll maybe put a link to his channel. Maybe you know, depending on how generous I am. I'll, I'll pull into like Pats, who is Tank Beast 13, Tank Beast Shams, who's Jeff. But uh, maybe not Vince. He's not. He doesn't set the standard like E3. And yeah, you gotta have a high quality videos, Vince. Quality over quantity. Alright, back to my topic that I keep rolling over, passing, whatever. Is that any of those people in my class, I think it's like a class 32 could be YouTubers that create these amazing videos. They could have, you know, 20,000, 30,000, maybe even, like, I don't think they'd have 2 million. Because if they had 2 million, I would probably know who they were. It's not like Freddie Wong's in my high school class, and I, he's just a ninja, and I probably don't see him, but I'm saying, like, one of those kids could be creating these amazing video effects or something, like, doing, maybe they're doing commentaries, because you guys probably don't know what I look like. All you hear is my voice. And I could be some... I could be Asian for all you know. Or black. But I'm a white, white kid. With brown hair. No, I'm giving too much details. I might... Oh, I just saw... I forgot about one thing. Halo 4 is coming out. It's like holiday of 2012. So I'm assuming like Christmas right around then of 2012. Well, if you're if you don't celebrate Christmas, maybe Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. I, I don't know if Kwanzaa's during. I, God, that makes me sound so bad. But okay, shit. Okay, back to when all that E3 stuff. No, not E3. 
Man, I'm totally screwing this commentary up. When you gotta, like, if you were to talk to more people, I guess I'd talk to people, but if you were to mention you did YouTube, I don't really mention I do YouTube to all these other kids. Maybe because I don't think it's that big of a deal because I only have 109 subs, but it's higher than Vince, and he's got 100 too. So, suck it, Vince. And I just don't really think it's that big of a deal, but maybe if I had like 50,000 subs, that's pretty much an army. I could take over. I could definitely take over something like a small city, maybe well, maybe a large city. If I had 50,000 people, we all had guns or something. We could definitely take over a city. Cause my friend Tom, okay E3. I'm just looking at right now. There's a whole bunch of hot girls and like no clothing. It is. I gotta go to one of these when I turn 18 or 20. I don't know. I gotta go somewhere. And yeah, you just need to. I guess if I would to talk about this to another person that I didn't really know that well. I mean, that person could be huge. They could be getting paid to do YouTube. I don't even know them. Or maybe, I'm not just talking about YouTube, but somebody else could be doing something amazing and you don't even know and they're sitting right next to you. They could be creating a cure for cancer. and You're sitting there in the bus and you're like, hey, what do you do all day? You just play video games? And they cured cancer. Cancer isn't cured, but... I don't. Th if we cured cancer, then doctors wouldn't have a job, or a lot of doctors wouldn't have a job, because I'm at least half sure some doctors just specify in cancer. Maybe they don't, but you would, doctors would lose a lot of money if cancer wasn't we what what cured. Slap my foot. That wasn't me jacking off. Unless you want. Nope. That's me slapping my foot again. So I guess that pretty much wraps up this commentary. I don't know how long this commentary is because I stopped it and I rant a little bit. I don't think I'm going to edit that out, but this has been Mick Booger Balls, and I hope you enjoy this commentary that I enjoyed making. So, yeah, see you guys.